Hello everybody and welcome to something I haven't done in a while, a mod showcase on a recent mod. This is the John Deere 8000 series by Marthu1990 on Mod Hoster. And this is probably going to be on uh, Mod Hub as well, but I'm, I'm putting the link down in the description. So if you go to that site, go to the original one on Mod Hoster and please download it from there. Uh, this is like a really, really good mod. The author needs all the support they can get. So just putting that out there. Uh, you know, front and front and center. Okay. Anyway, it's uh, made by Most Sinister and Marthu, and this is the version four, and it's actually looking better. I had version three for a long time, and I can tell you that the textures are a little bit better. They still need a little bit of work. They don't have that that pop uh, to me. But we're not going to go over all the specifications or everything. We're just going to make sure everything works, and you know, uh, look at everything. The specs are. I mean, they are, there are so many options. I have like 15 of them out here today, and I don't have enough room. So uh, we can run it through it really quick. You've got the 380 horse, 431, 490, 540, 585, 625, 766, 843, and then the 880 chip is 975 horsepower. And you get a bunch of wheel options too, and we can run down through all them. Wide, Michelin tires, the big Michelins. Uh, the XMs, which are my favorite. Twins front, deluxe tracks with Michelin steers, 36 inch tracks, and then with the Michelins. You also get a logo and uh, rear license plate. So, uh, yeah, that's it. That is the the bad boy right there. So let's just go ahead and hop in the cab. Take a look around. Everything is very nicely modeled. I have so many mirrors uh, right now. It's going to keep popping in and out. That is not the mod. It's because I have all these lined up and my computer can only draw like 11 mirrors or something like that. So that is uh, that is what it's at. Now I have auto start on, so we're already running. I see controls are pretty nifty. Uh, if we go up here, we can hit uh, one of the... Oh, I got to have... I don't have my HUD on. There we go. Uh, IC controls do not work without HUD on, so you can see the, f the flag up here, that turns on the flag. We can uh, fold in and out the mirror, and it's the same thing over here, another flag up there in the corner, and fold in and out the mirror. We can open up the door. There are no sound effects for anything there. Uh, we can tilt the steering wheel, and let's see here, this one, what does this one do? Wait, F1. Oh, this is the check pressures. Okay, so this puts out warnings. So if we look outside. Okay, nothing there. If I can... There we go. Hmm, that's weird. It was working a second ago. I've broken the mod just sitting here. Okay, this is check pressure. I know that works, but there's little flags that can come up here too, so I want to get them to to work, but it's only letting me do check pressure for some reason. Open warning. Oh, the button is a little bit misplaced. I know it works. There we go. There it is. The button's a little bit out of place, but you get the little, the little warning triangles if that's what you want. All right, so let's take a walk around, take a look at it. Like I say, the textures need just a little something. I don't know if the Fresnel effect is not correct in the file or not, but it's got this plastic look to it. But I've never seen one of these in person, so I don't know if that is intentional or not. Like, the boom looks correct, but the side panels and everything look like they're made out of Bakelite or something. Uh, it, it's just a, a normal look here. We can... Take a gander inside. The engine is simply a uh, texture, which is fine. Uh, got looks like a def tank there or something. Uh, yeah, it, it's very nicely modeled. I cannot complain about the model on this at all. So then we can come over here to the wide tires. I go go up front. I got them a little close. So this is your wides. And we got the Michelins, which is always a good looking one. I hope we see standard Michelins sometime in the game. They look so much better. They look like they've actually been worn a little bit. We have the big Michelins. The Michelins XM. This is my favorite one. And then the duels. 
And that's what they all look like there. All these are exactly the same except for the tires. Then we come on over into the tracks. So we've got different options for tracks. I don't know the names of them, but this is all of them here. Uh, some of them look a little different. These are the 36s with the... Oh, no. It's tracks. And then you've got Michelin steers versus Trailwork steers. And then you've got the 36-inch tracks with regulars and then 36-inch tracks with the Michelins. Okay, for your maze headers, you have the 9... Uh, let me double check and make sure. I don't want to get it wrong. I've already lost my place. Here we go. The 390 plus uh, coming at 9 meters and the other one is the 686. The 686 does not fold up. Well, it does. It's just up on the sides, you know, like a normal one. This one does a uh, two-stage fold and uh, we'll be looking at those here in a minute. Again, very nicely modeled. Everything seems to be here. Uh, a little bit gummy on the texture work, but, you know, you're not going to notice this stuff. Um, like when you're actually using it, so it's fine. Uh, whatever I nitpick textures, it's normally like on the body of the tractor, not nitpicking little things. You know, things you're going to see all the time are more of a concern than like this, but you can tell that care has been put in because, you know, it's high enough res. You can almost read, you know, your, your uh, tag there. So, you know, it's not bad. Same goes with this one. Uh, we've got some wear marks and everything, which is nice. Not a bad looking head. Okay, as far as the pickups, you have a 659, 649, and 639. They're all just different widths. Again, they're very nicely, nicely modeled. And I do like the texture on the screen. Uh, screen textures like that are pretty hard to do right. And, you know, when you get one that looks right, even from the side, you know, it looks pretty good. So I think that is very, very nice on the back. And you know, we've got like all our hydraulic lines and everything. They're all very nicely modeled. And when it's hooked up, it all looks correct. Uh, you've got little feet that come down whenever they are detached from the forge harvester. So yeah, pretty good. The last part that comes with the pack is the Profit Cut 620. And this is our mower. It's got a nice little cage up top. The, uh, I'm going to say this is like rubber or a rubber composite for the front. Nice cage, very nice modeling, good texture work on the side. Everything's here, everything's, you know, everything's there. Again, you know, they've put enough effort into even including warning signs. There's even a sign on the PTO, and I don't think I've ever noticed that before on another mat. Okay, so I have a few things set up with it. It does tow, and it does shoot. So if we uh, bring up our HUD again, if I hit the right keys, all right. So we can go over to the vehicle here, and we hit O. Pipe goes out. It senses the trailer. Everything's kosher. We go back over to our trailer, and let's put down that little gate so we don't make a big old mess. And then we can hit B and start it up, and everything works. Puts it nine miles an hour. You know, not the fastest thing in the world, but the ability to go ahead and just load up a trailer sometimes is just invaluable. So you can, you know, have a another tractor carting one trailer or the other, and then uh, just uh, fill it up pretty quick. Now, I do not have Follow Me installed on this save file. This is just a test save file. So, uh... But I did test it on my, my normal one. This is actually a part of my Lone Oak Farm playthrough. And it does work with Follow Me. So the, the arm does sense. It does sense, you know, correctly. Okay, we'll do a little bit of silage here. So we hit X uh, on the header to unfold. And it comes right out. The animation is very, very nice. Everything looks good. And then we can turn it on if I select the, the right option here. And you can see the actual wheels inside the head start to turn and everything. So let's give it a little go here. Should pick up pretty quick. And again, you know, it does follow. We can turn. And the head follows the uh, trailer just like it's supposed to. 
We'll make a mishmash of this field here. It's not a big deal at all. Just showing you that the head does follow the trailer just like it's supposed to. I've seen some mods where the head doesn't follow and but the the stream follows and you know every, everything. So this one does work correctly. Now we do have the profit cut set up again. So let's go ahead and turn it on here. And we can get some crop cutting going on. So that's pretty good. It does work. Seems to be pretty quick. A little bit faster than actually uh, harvesting, but the head isn't as wide, so take that as you will, but it does work. Don't know if you can see inside. Yes, you can. There is actually an animation going on inside of that, even though you wouldn't normally be able to see it. So that's a very nice touch. All right, the last one that we have set up today is the pickup. Uh, apparently, I need to unfold the pickup first. We'll go ahead and get that thing opened up. There we go. And we'll turn everything on. Some pre-cut grass. Picks up very nice. Again, a good smooth animation. You know, it's not like a lot of others you see inside the head and everything moving. It's a very nicely made mod, so I very much recommend it. All right, so as far as, you know, details about the mod and its structure, so version 2 started out at 105 megabytes, version 3 bumped that up to 123, and now version 4, the final, is at 139. So there has been improvements made. Uh, I had version 2 when I very first started playing the game. I don't remember it that much. Uh, I wasn't, you know, that well antiquated with the game, so I thought it was like kind of pointless, but now, uh, <laughs> now I don't. So, uh, again, it's a very, very nicely made mod. Everything in it looks and just works great. So, yeah, take a look at it. Check it out. Uh, the link will be down in the description below. And, yeah, go give good comments and ratings and everything like that to the mod authors, they would greatly enjoy it.